I don't want to do this. So yesterday we left off with the trailer. I had finished the trailer and uh, this morning I just took it back to where we were leaving it parked for the time being till we needed to use it again. And right now I have moved everything around just to make everything fit because I had a mess. I had things in the grass and I get in trouble for leaving things in the grass. So I've cleaned up a little bit and I moved things around so then we could just bring this to the truck and work on it here. But this is what we're doing today. So these hangers right here, these are always popping. These are actually really bad and it looks like they may have gotten worse. You can see that there is the washer and they're supposed to sit all the way down here. It's up there. So that's what we're working on today. Reason why I don't want to work on this is because we have to lift up almost a chassis so we can work on this. It's not gonna be fun. It's actually kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really worried. I have all the parts. I ordered the parts a while back. Like I said before harvest, I was supposed to do this, but I did not get to it. So we're going to do it now. And then we have a sleeve in there. Same thing, it's a pivot point, so we have a sleeve in there. I cannot grease these at all. I have tried greasing them. You can see that the grease just stays on the outside because they are just, they're just completely messed up. And the hanger itself is really messed up. Before I upload the video, I'm gonna try to email the company that I got the suspension from so you guys can get a small discount. Hopefully I can get you guys a discount code so you guys can get a small discount. And more or less, because you can't find parts for these things anymore. It took me a while to find that website to find parts for this. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but I'm gonna shoot these guys an email. I'm gonna let them know what we do for business. I know that this stuff gets expensive. Literally, I think I spent like $500 just on these hangers and all the other stuff. So I know it gets expensive. I'll try my best to get a code for you guys. If not, I'll at least leave the website down in the description so you guys can find parts. I'd be lying to you guys if I said I wasn't completely nerve wracked right now, but um, I just got one of the hanger connectors off. I'm kind of scared here. As you can tell, we have that bushing in there. It's all messed up. I literally just took off that piece that goes from there to there. You can see that in here, everything's really messed up. I have to swap that one as well, I believe. Now it's gonna be fun because I don't have a press and I'm not gonna take the whole leaf spring out just to put the thing in there. So I'm gonna hammer it in there. Hopefully I don't mess it up too bad. This one's going to come off completely. As you can tell, whoa, I did not notice this was cracking. So good thing we're replacing it. I'm honestly nerve wracked right now. This is, <laughs> it's kind of scary. I have one jack here, that thing holding this up and then that one holding the front end up. Uh, nothing should fall, but still it's a lot of weight to be messing around and I'm kind of worried. It looks like we actually may have overlifted because we have the gap up top. Usually if this was up on top, I think that it'd have the pressure on it. I'm gonna try to just pull this thing out and see what it does. This should not fall on us at all. Um, like I said, I'm still completely worried, but I'm gonna try to pull that pin out. And if that pin comes out and nothing falls, nothing does anything it's not supposed to, then we should be fine to work on the hanger. I might throw a block of wood in there for more security, but everything holding up the truck should be enough to keep us from dying, but we'll see. All right, I just got this all to run apart. I reached down here to check the size. Check this out. Yeah, it's loose. So um, I don't know why that's loose. They're supposed to be tightened. We got to replace those as well anyways. I'm gonna have to find some stronger grade because these are only like five grade. That has three points, which means five grade, I'm pretty sure. We'll have to replace those bolts, the bolts under. I do not have those, so I'm just gonna kind of more or less put everything together. They should all be the same size. So I'm gonna take one of the bottom ones, since there's not tension there. Uh, take one of the bottom bolts in, and then try to look for more bolts. We're gonna need new hardware, definitely. I don't remember if the front's any different. I think it all should be the same thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull that hanger off. We're gonna compare them. This one's completely toasted. Comparing to the new one, yeah, this one's done. I'm going to pull this off. We're gonna go compare it with the old one. I don't know if the leaf springs have that bushing. I'm gonna check, I think they do. But I'm not sure. Doesn't look like it does, but we'll check. So here we got everything. Let's compare real quickly. I think this is supposed to go, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look up the schematic. That fits loose, so I don't really wanna do that. So as you can tell, this one doesn't have its seal. This one does. Obviously, it's supposed to have a seal there. That copper bushing, completely done. When I pulled this one out, it had half a chunk stuck on it. So yeah, that's supposed to be there. And the reason that's there, you can see the grooves in there. That's for the grease. So since this had no place for this, see, I knew that they were popping and this got stuck to it. So it just tells me that they got hot and they got stuck together. So that is why we're replacing the pins as well because with the heat they wear this, all this inside is not rebuildable anymore. I'm pretty sure if we try to throw that sleeve in there, yeah, you see it's just not round anymore so we could push that old sleeve out try to throw this new one in and it damage it right away 
I don't think we have anything else to throw on here, so I'm just going to put everything together. I'm going to clean the chassis really well so that nothing gets contaminated and sits odd for some reason with some dirt. So I'm just going to clean the chassis. I'm going to put all the bushings and everything, throw the pins in there, and then grease them, put the truck together. I honestly thought this was going to be a lot harder of a job. It really is not. I really thought this was going to be a lot harder of a job. So I might actually knock out the other side once I'm done here. It's getting a little late. Um, it's starting to get dark. It's 5 o'clock, so I got about an hour of sunlight left. But here in about another 45 minutes, I want to say. I was going to say 30, but for sure 45. I should have all of this put together, and we should have this back down on the ground. Um, we still have to do the front, which is going to be interesting. I don't know how those go, but same thing. We're going to have to lift that front and then take everything apart and see what we need. I think I should have everything. should have ordered everything. If not, then I guess we'll have a part two. But for the most part, we can do the rear hanger, which is really damaged. You guys saw how bad it was, so at least we have the parts for that. Let me figure out if the leaf springs need that bushing. If they do, I'll figure out a way to put them on. If they don't, we'll throw everything together here in a bit. So here's that schematic. Um, everything exploded. So we do need a bushing there that goes in there. So we do need that bushing with that pin. So let me clean that out, figure out how we're going to push that in there. And then we'll throw that in there make it match this, everything should go back together. All right, I got the old copper bushing out. It is somewhere around here, I think. I have no idea where it went. That is not, that's not it. That's, that's definitely not it. It came out in two pieces, which didn't make sense, but that's what it's supposed to look like for the most part. You could see it's just the bare metal. There's no bushing there no more. I really cannot believe I misplaced that. I am kind of mad right now. So I wanted to show you guys. I'll find it later. I'll show you guys later. But literally what I did, was I grabbed the biggest chisel I could find. I put it right here. I broke kind of into that bushing. And then as I was beating this, it was lifting it. And as I was going down, I was lifting it. I was moving the chisel in, so it kept lifting it. And eventually with, with the center punch, I was going through and around it, hitting here, up, and kind of in a cross pattern. And eventually it worked its way out. And once I got it out, I placed it somewhere and I cannot find it. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to heat it. I'm gonna try to get it red. I know that leaf spring material is really, it's really strong material. So I'm still gonna try to heat it up as much as I can so it expands. What I did with the bushing was I threw it in the freezer. Yes, I went inside, I threw it in the freezer, and I should shrink it a little bit, probably not a lot. I'm not expecting it to shrink it all that much, but as I heat this, shrink that, the metal should work um, against each other. So this will expand, that one will shrink. That's a plan. I'm gonna hit it with a mallet so then I don't bend it. I could use the sludge, but that's just gonna mess it up completely. So I'm gonna beat it with the mallet and we're going to slowly put it in with the mallet. Hopefully we don't go too far and we get a good distance in. That is the best solution that I could come up with because we don't have a press. If we had a press, it'd be so much easier to press the old one out, press the new one in because then we wouldn't damage anything. If I had a press, I don't even think I could get a press in here. I got an idea. Hold on, I got an idea. Bearing press kit. I did not think of that till right now. We probably cannot pull out the old bushing, but what we can do is press the new one in. Kind of like a bearing, we should be able to press or at least compress that new bushing in. Flip these around, it'd be completely flush. So I think that's the route we're gonna go with actually. LOL, yes sir. That actually worked really well. And we're flush on both sides because that thing sat flush. That worked. Um, time for the other side, I guess. I'll throw this whole thing back together now. We should be... Let me check if that pin fits. That got a little dirty. I'm gonna have to clean that out, but let me check if that pin fits. Yes. And it spins freely, so we can throw grease in there. The new hanger, the actual hanger piece, is completely assembled. It's completely... Everything's there. I don't have to put anything new on it. So with this one, I'm going to see if I can throw the seals on it. If I can, we'll throw the seals on there as well because it comes with seals. But the actual hanger piece does come pre-assembled, everything on it. And I did not know that I ordered all these other stuff that I thought I would need. I guess that's how we'll do the front as well because it does need that bushing. Unlock this out, throw it all back together. I'll show you guys the end results. And tomorrow, maybe I'll do the time lapse tomorrow. Just go around the whole truck and do everything on time lapse. I don't know, we'll see. All right, I just put the Zerts on and I greased them. I need hardware. I really need hardware because this bolt is actually really messed up. You can barely see the bump on camera, but it's actually really bad. I need to go buy hardware, so I'm going to take this bolt tomorrow with me. And I will go buy more hardware for this, so then we can throw everything together. 
I just have the back ones on. They're in with a nut on the back just so they don't walk off. Everything's just kind of on there temporarily. I'm not even going to mess with the other side yet. I'm literally just going to leave everything here. Tomorrow I will go buy all the hardware that I need. At least for these hangers. I might look at the front and see if we need any hardware up there. So if I need to buy hardware for that, I know exactly what to pick up. I know I need four bolted nuts for the hanger connectors. So I will definitely go pick some of those up tomorrow. But for right now, honestly, it looks really good. I'm not going to lie. This project should be done tomorrow. Hopefully, this project really should be done tomorrow. I said that about the trailer, but this one, I already know what I'm doing. I, I already know what I'm doing. I already finished one side, basically. If I had the hardware, I would have finished one side already. Tomorrow, we should have this done. I just need the hardware, and then I'm excited to go work on cars. I honestly want to get this knocked out so we can work on cars. I will pick up the camera tomorrow once I get the hardware. All right, guys, so today is Monday. Last clip you guys saw was Saturday. I decided to take Sunday off because it's just Sunday. Take a day off every once a week. We are back at it today, Monday, and this morning I went and grabbed the hardware that I needed. There are the four bolts that we need for this side. Right now I'm going to throw it all on. I greased everything already, so everything should be fine here, ready to go. The only thing that we need to do, I'm pretty sure the hanger is tight. I'm pretty sure I tightened all this. Yeah, the actual hanger is tight. Um, the only thing we need is the hardware. That's all we were waiting for was the hardware. So let me throw that together. This side will be completely done. She's down on the ground. For some reason, she's sitting a little higher. I think. I see the truck still kind of like this. Everything's down. I mean, that was the strongest jack. That one's completely off. This one's loose. And that one's not even tightened. It makes sense if this is higher because this doesn't have the worn out up on top and on the bottom. But enough to where it's noticeable like this, I don't think is right. But I guess we'll just uh, call it good and move on to the next side. I'm thinking about pulling these off and throwing red Loctite on them, or at least blue Loctite. But, I mean, they really should not come loose. The only reason I want to do that is because they do hold the whole suspension together. I don't think those bolts are going to come out. Everything's everything's on there pretty tight. I tightened, they tightened it quite a bit. I don't think it's going to come apart, but... Um, I kind of still want to throw Loctite on there just in case. Those lock nuts are brand new, so those should be fine. But like I said, just for a peace of mind, I kind of want to do that. But we'll do that later if I feel like I need to or if I start seeing them walk out. I'll do it later, but for right now, we'll just kind of leave it like that. I'm going to knock out the other side. I think I said I was going to do a time lapse on the other side just because it's going to be quicker. For that, I'll need to find my tripod because I have no idea where my tripod went. Um, I'm not going to lie, I have no idea where my tripods are right now. I know what I'm doing now, so this should not take any more longer than what it has. All right, I believe we are done. I greased everything, tightened everything. Like I said, I was gonna throw Loctite and all that, but if we need to later, if it looks like I have to later, then I will. Those other bolts should be fine to take off if they have weight on them, and the other ones, I'll just take them off one by one, and they should be fine. Um, nothing should fall. 
There's that. I still need to sit that one down. I took that jack out and I'm going to clean up all the tools. I'm going to pick up here in a bit. We'll take the truck back to where we're going to park it for the time being. Tomorrow, I want to work on the transmission, but it's cold. Here, I'm at least moving quite a bit to work on the transmission. I'm just going to be sitting there quite a bit and um, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully tomorrow warms up a little bit. I think it's supposed to snow actually. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll, we'll knock that out tomorrow. Let me put everything away. Let me put the truck kind of more or less back. Let me just put it down. That's all I need to do is put it down, uh, move everything out of the way so I can back this out. I really thought I was going to take longer on this, but I think that other side I knocked it on like 45 minutes. I really want to say I knocked it on like 45 minutes. Let me put this down and clear everything up, clean everything up, put everything away, and we will go test drive this. As for the fronts, I don't have the pins. Um, I have the other copper, brass, whatever they are, the other bushings, I have those, but I do not have the pins. I accidentally ordered two extras. Well, I thought I accidentally ordered two extras, but I have them. The one thing that I did not order were the other pins, were the front pins, and I believe they're the same pins, but like I said, it just, so I gotta order those, so. Uh, once I get those ordered, once I get those in, we'll change those as well. They shouldn't be that hard to do. It looks like there's only two bolts up front. Yeah, once uh, once I get those in, we'll do them again. We'll, we'll do the fronts, and that should be fine, because honestly, when I was lifting, when I was lowering this side, I think, it popped. The fronts were popping. I believe the rears would not be popping, but uh, the fronts probably were, because they're probably dry. I'm going to try to grease them again, but uh, they're just... You guys saw how messed up those rear hangers were. Those front ones are probably the same way I cannot get any more grease in them so I'm gonna try my best to grease those front ones but that's that's the way they're gonna ride until we can swap those out I brought my camera but I left my phone priorities That's the end of the day. I'm tired for some reason. I'm like sleepy. I think I'm hungry. So that's that. Honestly, I thought that was gonna take so much longer. So I'm kinda, I'm glad that didn't take so long. Uh, tomorrow, like I said, I think we're gonna work on the transmission. I don't know if it's gonna snow. The clouds have been out today. Like it's gonna snow. It's supposed to snow tomorrow. I think that's what the weather app said. I at least wanna throw it together. I kind of want to throw in the transmission once the engine's out because if we throw the transmission in we're gonna line it and everything pull the engine we're gonna have to align it twice but i know tomorrow we at least got to throw that transmission together i don't want to get weathered on i don't want any i mean it probably does have now water contamination inside so i gotta have to clean everything i gonna i'm gonna have to clean everything i kind of want to work on the subaru i'm not gonna lie i kind of want to drop the transmission on the subaru instead I have not pulled the transmission. That blown transmission, I have not pulled from the Subaru. So I kind of want to do that instead. But the Suburban's in our way. I don't know when we're going to get that done because we still need an engine for the Suburban. I think we're going to work on the transmission for the Suburban tomorrow. I'll look up a manual tonight, probably buy it and so we can slap that together properly. And I'll see what else I have. I don't remember exactly what I ordered, but I have a discount code for you guys for that. So in next video, for sure, I'll have a discount code for the transmission for the Suburban. And if you guys want to buy parts, That'll be there. So you guys got something to look forward to. If you guys like the video, go down and hit that like button. If you guys have anything to say, go down in the comment section. Leave a comment. I'm active in the comment section. I get bored. I just post videos. I don't do anything after. Leave a comment. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one.